So what's happening guys, Chris here, bringing you another weapon guide for Battlefield 1. And in today's video, I'm going to be putting the Scout exclusive Froma Stop pistol under the spotlight. Now the Froma Stop is a semi-automatic Hungarian handgun, which was designed by Rudolf Froma, and the pistol was adopted by the Hungarian army in 1912, hence why it's sometimes referred to as the Model 1912. The Stop pistol was an advancement from Froma's earlier, less successful Model 1910, which, unlike a lot of other semi-autos around back then, functioned using a long recoil operation. This mechanism carried over to his redesigned stop pistol, which had a modernised frame and utilised more popular calibres, with from his intention of these changes boosting commercial sales. And his stop pistol would later be manufactured at a factory in Budapest from 1912. There's no exact evidence as to why Fromma decided to call his new pistol the stop, though the name is probably implying that the gun is fully capable of stopping an opponent dead in their tracks, which is kind of the obvious theory. The fact that the guns worked using a long recoil operation meant that they were a bit more complicated to produce, which would have made them more expensive to create. Though despite this, the stop pistols were very well built and really sturdy, and providing they were maintained in a decent condition, the guns were reliable weapons which worked exactly how they should have done. The Froma stop saw its way throughout and beyond the Great War, in the hands of Hungarian troops within the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And from a stop pistols continued to serve with the Hungarian army and police, along with other forces, past the Second World War, with an estimated figure of over 350,000 units being manufactured in total, over the Frommer Stop's life cycle. Now you'll be able to find the Frommer Stop as a secondary weapon under the Scout class, and it's going to function in a very similar way to the other faster firing sidearms, which you'll be able to equip with other classes. The gun has a maximum damage value of 26.5 up to the range of 6 meters, and this will then start to decline down to its minimum damage of 13.5 beyond 31 meters. So just like the Modelo, Hammerless and the Tashin pistol, the Frommerstop will take down an oncoming enemy up close in 4 bullets, up to the range of 10 meters. Beyond this, it'll start to become weaker, taking an extra bullet after every 6 meters away your opponent is. And if they're further than 28 meters, you're going to need to land a total of 8 bullets to kill. This means that the gun generally deals a pretty weak amount of damage over range, though in those up close and personal proximities, the 4 bullet kill will match a fair few other pistols in the game like the P08, M1912 and the MLE. With the Frommer Stop being a scout only weapon, as far as damage is concerned, it definitely doesn't match up to the other beefcake exclusive guns that the scout class has to offer, like the Mars Automatic and the Badeo 1889, with them both being heavy hitters. But despite being the tiddler of the pack, which is typically going to take more bullets to kill, the gun's kill time is fairly speedy across the board, and although it doesn't quite beat the Badeo in CQC, it actually kills quicker than it beyond close ranges, and pretty much wipes the floor with the Mars Automatic, proving it to be a bit of a David rather than a Goliath. The reason behind this quicker time to kill comes down to the speed at which it fires those rounds at. Clocking in at 450 RPM, the gun can launch those bullets out faster than everything else that a scout player can wield, and because it fires so quickly, a whole 90 RPM quicker than the MLE 1903, which is the second fastest firing gun that the Scout can equip, other than the Calibri. This allows you to rapidly get those bullets out and dish out the damage quicker, in albeit smaller, bite-sized chunks. Because it takes the same amount of rounds to kill up to 10 meters of the MLE, and other weapons that fire slower like the P08, this is going to give you a speed advantage in CQC. Now, not only will you be able to kill in the same amount of bullets, but you'll also be able to do it in a shorter amount of time too. Though you will need to have a fast trigger finger in order to keep up with that spammable fire rate. The Frommer Stop is a nimble little bugger which, other than shooting really quickly, can also be drawn really quickly too. The gun's got a deploy time of 0.40 seconds, which is going to beat everything else, and contrasts quite a lot against the Mars Automatic sluggish 0.60 second deploy time. Because you'll often be using the Frommer Stop as a means to finish off a player weakened by your primary weapon, this factor goes hand in hand with the bolt action rifles, and instead of trying to line up a second shot with the rifle, it's often best to utilise the Frommer Stop's rapid deploy time and speedy nature in these situations, making it a perfect weapon for completing the kill. Unfortunately though, the Frommer Stop has the least amount of ammo per magazine when compared to the other 450 RPM pistols for the other classes, as it'll only be able to hold a total of 8 rounds instead of 9. Because more bullets are required to kill over range than other pistols, this makes it slightly less reliable, especially for killing multiple enemies with one magazine. A maximum of 8 bullets could be needed to kill someone at longer ranges, which is basically everything that the gun can hold. The gun's recoil pattern isn't particularly bad, with a horizontal value of 0.4 and a vertical value of 1. It's quite stable, though it's not the most accurate weapon in the game, which could force a couple of shots off target as you fire away and that might prove to be more of a problem with those slightly smaller magazines. 
So in conclusion, the Frommerstop plays out as the Scout class's fast firing pistol which sacrifices damage over range for speed. It's a great weapon that fits into a scout player's needs, for quickly dispatching hostiles weakened by those rifles, as its rapid fire rate is complemented well with that quick deploy time. Although it's a good option for finishing people off with, it might not be as effective for engaging several enemies at once, with it holding one less round than the other 450 RPM pistols in other classes. Though its recoil pattern is fairly stable, combined with a generally reliable kill time over all ranges. And despite its small size, the Frommer stop can often be a powerful little gun to use against lone players out in the battlefield. But that's all I've got for you in this one guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, hit that like button if you did, and feel free to subscribe for loads of other guides new and upcoming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that next video.